Well, good morning. Uh, it's good to be back in Indy. Uh, part of the roster building uh, process. A couple things before I take some questions. Just want to uh, first off congratulate Coach Jeff Fisher uh, on getting inducted in, into the Tennessee Sports Hall of Fame. Um, storied career with the Titans, and um, you know, happy for him and, and, and his family. And then second, just to touch on the 2019 season, proud of the coaches, proud of the players. Um, the run we were able to get on uh, there came up a little short in, in the end, but you know, guys bought into to what we wanted to be about as a football team um, after kind of a sluggish start and then midway through the season, um, we're able to kind of catch fire and get rolling. So um, with that with that being said, I'm happy to answer any, any questions with, that you guys have. Yeah, so, we, you know, that's it's and I'll just kind of address this as well. We've got several um, guys uh, free agent wise whose contracts are up. I've spoken to all those guys. Um, we're working through that now. We have uh, daily discussions uh, internally uh, about roster and how we're going to handle the roster. Um, we've started some preliminary discussions uh, with some guys. We'll continue to work through that. Um, I don't really have any updates on on where we're at. And I think you guys know me well enough. I don't really talk about uh, contracts and, and stuff like that publicly. Yeah, we'll 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 see how it goes. Um, you know, he he he's under contract here for the next few weeks, and um, he did a great job for us. And um, you know, we'll we'll start those those talks and and see kind of where those go, and um, just like all the other players. Sure, um, you know that's that's a resource that that every team is allowed is 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 those uh, those tags. Um, if you if you can't work something out um, and say it's a bad thing, I don't know that it's a good thing. It's just a resource that we have to use. Um, but we got a lot of good we got a lot of good players. Uh, we want to try to keep as many good players on the team as possible, um, and we'll see how it goes. You know. Um, yeah, I mean, I think all of our players know how, how I feel about them personally and how um, the team feels about them them personally. But it's um, it, it, it is it is a business and, and, and I'm charged with managing um, the contracts, um, the salary cap, all, all of that. There's a lot that go that goes into that, certainly short term, but but also long term because um, we're we want to be competitive and and we want to be a, be fighting to get in the thing every single year same as it is with any other contract discussion you know that's it takes it takes two sides to tango um, and you know we'll have contract discussions with with a lot of our players with with a lot of agents um, and and try to do what's best for the team um, at the end of the day Joe you've been trying that's a great question I think I think every scenario is different you have to handle it case by case um, Again, I think, I think, as a team builder, you want to try to keep as many good players on your team for a long period of time. You know, as long as they're still, you know, performing and helping the team well, and they're buying into what's what's going on. So, I think it's case by case basis, and um, we'll just kind of see if anybody falls into that case this year for us. Yeah, whatever the whatever the window is, ever how long that is, you know, I don't know. Um, I don't know that there's benefits or consequences for doing it one one way or the other. We haven't had to use it before, um, so we'll we'll just kind of see. I'm sorry, say that again, then. We'll we'll see how that goes. Yeah, it's we, we, he's his contract's up. So we'll have those contract negotiations um, with a lot of our players. And um, like I said, I want to try to keep as many of those guys on the team as possible. But the, the 2020 Titans, they're going to look different than the 2019 Titans. That, that's the way it is. 
the 2019 Titans look different than the 2018 Titans. There's rookies that come in. Um, there's trades that happen. There's free agency. There's waiver claims. Um, and we told our team that. And, and they understand that. They're professionals. Yeah, I mean, players that are under contract that aren't on our team, like, I can't comment on those guys. I won't comment on those guys. Um, but, you know, we're just working through the process here at the Combine. And, um, you know, whenever that whenever that time opens up where we can you know, negotiate with other players, regardless of what position they are, whenever that window opens up, um, we'll attack that just like 31 other teams attacking. Yeah, Derek had, a, Derek had a great year for us. I mean, he led the league in rushing. Um, he, he built off the second half of the 2018 season that he had. Um, he, he cares about his teammates. He works hard. Um, he's great in the community. And um, we're going to work through that one and, and, and do everything we can to try to keep him around. Yeah, that's a great question, Paul. I think you know any any time, really, with any player, um, it, when you when you when you do the deal, when you do a deal, regardless of the position, um, if the player works out, it looks great. If it doesn't work out, then I look like an idiot. You know, that's that's the way it goes. That's what I signed up for. Um, but yeah, you know, regardless of the position, you know, you asked about running back. I think you know if we get something done with with Derek and. Um, he has a great career, which we expect him to, and, and continue to build on what the foundation that he's laid here for us. Um, it'll be good for all of us. Yeah, I mean, I think we've got I think we've got several players on the team. Um, that, that other teams around the league are, are, are going to want, you know. Um, that's a testament to the players uh, for coming in and, and performing at a level that, that we expected them to. It's a testament to the coaches um, for, you know, them teaching those players, developing those players, inspiring those guys to go out on Sundays and help us win football games. And, um, you know, that's what's been bargained in, in, the, in the CBA is the, the, uh, the chance to hit free agency. And the guys that earn that, then that's, that's what it is. I'm John. John. No, Ryan. I, I, like I said, Ryan. Ryan did a he did a great job. We we watched a lot of film on him uh, when he was with the Dolphins, um, and and felt really good about um, him coming to our team. And that's why we made the trade. So um, he had, he had a good year, and um, you know we'll just kind of see how it goes from here. Yeah, so I mean, it's I mean, I think there's there's a there's a lot of good players in this draft. Um, we're kind of in a different spot, which it's a good spot. It means we had a good season. We're down to 29, but I like to be in the the top 10 and, and have a shout at one of those guys up there. Sure, but that means we didn't win very many football games. Um, so this is a this is a good problem uh, to have. So, you know, I think I think all the all the position groups are, are pretty deep. I think the O line's got some pretty good depth to it. I think the receiver position and the running back position have good depth to it. Um, on the back end, the secondary um, got some longer corners. It seems like there's some, you know, there's some length at the corner position. Um, so I'm excited this week to get down and get in to sit with these guys and talk to them and get to know them as people, because uh, I think that's paramount is getting to know these players as people. Joe, go ahead. Yeah, it's it's um, uh, this is going to be an active one for us for for sure. Um, but again, I think that's a testament to the players. It's going to be challenging um, for myself and, and and trying to make sure everything fits. But I think we we've built a culture. Um, Nashville is a great city. Um, we, it's it's a guys have fun playing football for the Tennessee Titans, and I think that. You know the guys that were on this team. Hopefully, you know we can that our con whose contracts are up that we can keep those guys around because I think that you know, the grass isn't always greener. Sometimes it is, um, but I, but I know what we've got in Nashville.
off season. How do you balance potentially trying to keep your own guy versus being tempted to look at what's out there? Well, I think that's what we do on a on a daily and, and weekly and monthly basis is we scout what's in the league. You know, we do that back when you go back to the preseason. Those guys when the rosters are at ninety man or there's ninety guys on the roster. Um, you're scouting the entire league to see who's going to become available. The same thing goes through the season. You're scouting those teams because you never know who's going to become available via trade. And then those guys whose contracts you know are going to expire, you scout those guys like you do the draft and try to make a determination how they're going to fit your football team, um, balance that with the draft, balancing that with the players that you're going to try to re-sign. Yeah, that's a great question. Um, it's it, those guys. They, they it, it's it's length. It's it's coordination. You know, Conklin was a guy that, that played on the left side at Michigan State, um, and he he was he was a big, square-bodied, powerful player. Um, was a good athlete, and we thought that he could make that transition uh, over to the right side. And then, so you evaluate the film, and then I think you. You've got to go spend some time with them. You got to go to their pro day. You got to have a private workout with those guys. You got to get them in a right hand in a, in a right tackle stance. There's a lot of guys that play in a left tackle stance their entire career, and that's all they know. Their muscle memory is trained to be a left tackle. So flipping over to the right side, it's a little different, and you want to see how quickly they can make that adjustment. Yeah, well, we got we got a couple months uh, that I got a couple hurdles I gotta I gotta try to try to get over before before we get to that. But those guys uh, did a nice job for us, and I'm really glad they finished the season out the way they did. Pretty sure we could. Yeah, it's so it's it's different, you know that um you know the work the workouts in in prime time that's going to be you know kind of new for us. Um, our interviews with the, with the players are kind of sparsed in the day a little bit and some at night. Um, I've been in the, in the coaching interview sessions, the kind of the big pool of players at night, um, have gotten to talk to probably 15 or 20 players in there. So um, I've gotten some good exposure to the players. It seems to be working so far, and we'll see how the, you know, the rest of the week goes. I'm sorry, say that again, Corey. Yeah, I don't. I mean, we, we'll we'll see kind of how that how that goes. Um, that's you know, whoever you know, whoever's carrying the ball, if they're if, if they're making yards and and helping us win football games, um, you you keep feeding them. So you know, we'll just kind of see how we're going to build the roster, whether it's that position or another position, to complement the players that we got. Yeah, that's kind of why I'm trying to spend some time down in those coaches' interviews to get down there and and and. and you know, it's not a set down 18 minute, 15 minute, like direct interview, but you at least kind of get to know the personality of the player a little bit. Yeah, I think I mean, we've got a pretty, we've got a pretty good, um, Pretty good one on our football team. Uh, they played safety at at, um, at middle. Um, you, you watch the film, and, and I said it all the time when, when we ended up, when we ended up taking uh, Kevin. Um, I think he had 17 or 18 interceptions. You don't you don't stumble into 17 or 18 interceptions. You're doing something pretty good. Um, so our scouts do a great job and, and work tirelessly trying to to find those players. Um, you know, certainly the guys that are here we've evaluated, but really evaluating. Um, every player that's available for the draft and how that might be able to help our team. Yeah, I, I mean he's been working hard. You know, he had the injury there and um, and and lost the season. Um, but but he he's he's been attacking the rehab process. Um, I've seen him out on the field working with our trainers. Um, he's in good shape. He looks good. Um, I know he's itching to get back and 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 show what he's capable of doing. And um, you know, we're excited to work with him this spring whenever the players can come back. Yeah, work it, work, work it, working hard. Um, you know, had some had some stuff and another injury. You know, plague season. And uh, but but he's fight he's fighting to get back.
Yeah, there's a, I mean, there's a lot of good players in free agency, you know, it's at, at every position really. And that's, again, I spoke on it earlier. That's kind of what we do is, is we scour through, um, create it like a draft board, if you will, for, you know, a free agents and, and how we see those guys relative to the players on our team. Do you need to draft one this year? Draft a what? We need to draft good football players. As many good football players as we can get, we'll take them. Yeah, there's some good ones. Yeah, there's there's some good ones. There's, um, you know, it's um, it's it's been fun to watch those guys back to back to back. We did some of that this past uh, last week and the week before, um, comparing this player to that player and that player to this player. You know, there's obviously, like I said earlier, there's going to be some players that, you know, we're not going to have the luxury of taking because they're going to be gone. Um, but I think there's some guys throughout the throughout all of the rounds that we can find that can you know help our football team. No, I mean it was business as usual for us. We had our we had our draft meetings in December. Um, the scouts we went to the scouts went to the East West Shrine game. I was at the Senior Bowl. Um, we had our February draft meetings. Uh, we had our, our, our free agency meetings. So um, no, it was we we were prepped and ready. Nothing you know nothing really slowed down our process. And um, hopefully next year it gets extended another couple weeks. Last one. Yeah, I think when there's when there's a player that that you like, you have to look at the team. A, a where are you picking, um, and the teams ahead of you, and kind of at least within striking distance of jumping you, um, and you you see you you try to track um, what that player has done throughout the course of the spring, and, and if he's had some interaction with maybe one of those teams that you're a, that you're a little hesitant that might take the guy, then you know you you've got to get ahead of the guy or that team to get your player.